Hey, what do you say my fellow weekend warriors? Today we're gonna smoke up this 10 pound pork picnic. I'm gonna be doing it in my gateway drum smoker. You could do this in any kind of smoker. Pellet grill, pellet smoker, Weber kettle, you name it. You just wanna get that set to 275 degrees Fahrenheit. And for the smoke today, I've got some charcoal and then I'm spreading out a little bit of cherry wood and some apple wood. Those bigger pieces are the cherry, the smaller ones are the apple. That should be plenty for this cook. And operating one of these drum smokers is really simple. You just drop down your charcoal basket with the wood in there. I'll put the grate on top, give that a quick brush, put the lid on, and then you'll see today that I'm using my Smartfire fan controller. This is gonna help me keep that temperature dialed in at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. And then you'll see I've got it plugged into my battery powered generator. This generator will actually run my pellet smoker for hours on end. I may do a video on that in the future, but that fan controller needs some kind of power. That's why it's plugged in. And you'll see that I've got it dialed in right here. Here's a screenshot of the app. So we're ready to go. Hey, if you're new here, my name's Mike. I'm all about cooking outside. Nothing fancy. I just do it right here in my backyard. I love firing up these smokers on the weekends. It's super relaxing, especially after a busy work week. Nothing better than smelling that smoke rolling out, cooking up some great food, and I love sharing it with you guys. So hey, if you're into that kind of content, hit that subscribe button, and let's get into this pork picnic shoulder. All right, so they call this the picnic because this is the part of the hog that has the shoulder and a little bit of the foreleg. So this would be the top end of the leg right here. They leave the skin on. Some people, for presentation purposes, uh, they'll wrap this up in a towel, spray it with oil, make it nice and crisp. I'm not doing that today, we're just keeping it simple. And the difference between this and a whole shoulder, if this were the whole shoulder, you'd have the picnic end, and then this top part that they've cut off would be your Boston butt. That would give you a whole shoulder, and that's the difference between the three cuts. And for today's smoked pork picnic shoulder, we're gonna use a little mustard binder. I'm not trimming any fat whatsoever. If you look on this backside, they've left all the skin on. That's gonna act as a barrier. This is going skin side down towards the coals. I'm not gonna put any rub or seasoning on it. We're just concerned about this top piece here and building up a real nice bark. So a little mustard as a binder to help our rub stick. Rub that in. You don't need a whole lot. Make sure you get down into any crevices, the folds, and that's all that takes. And today we're going to use some of my homemade all-purpose mustard rub. I'll put the ingredients up on the screen for you, but before I put that down, I'm going to do a base layer of this Heath Riles garlic jalapeno. My rub doesn't have a whole lot of salt in it, and this does, so this will be a good balance. Plus, it's going to give us an extra kick of garlic and a little bit of heat from that jalapeno powder. So we're gonna go liberally with this base coat. Make sure we get the edges. And now we'll come back with my all-purpose mustard rub. Just goes good on anything. Pork, beef, chicken. Pat that in, and it's as simple as that, guys. You could use whatever kind of rub you want. Make up your own, experiment around, store-bought, doesn't matter. I'm gonna put it right into the smoker. If you wanna spend a little bit extra time, you could let that sit down there for about 20 minutes or so, let it absorb a little better. I'm not gonna do that today. We're just gonna get it straight in the smoker. Look at that smoke pouring out of here. Let's get this in there real quick. Oh yeah, look at that smoke. So you may have seen it earlier. Here's my ambient temperature probe to monitor the temperature of the pit. Got that right on the grate. Here's the meat probe. I like to let them sit in there, burn off any bacteria that might be on it. Then we're gonna put this pork picnic shoulder skin side down right towards the smoke and heat. Then I'll just grab my probe here with the paper towel because it's very hot. And I'm just gonna pick a spot right there. This is just so I can keep an eye on it remotely. Make sure this dude doesn't try and run away from us. Put this lid on. Now put a little screenshot up of the app. 
We're at about 47 internal. I just took this out of the refrigerator about 10, 15 minutes ago. You'll see a little dip in the bar. That's from where we opened the lid. We lost a little temp, but it'll climb right back up and it's gonna hold all afternoon. And so what I'm gonna do, about once an hour, I'm gonna come out here and spritz it if it needs it. And when I do that, I'll show you guys how it looks. I'm actually cooking this for a little get together we're having on Sunday. So there's no stress. We don't care when it gets done. We just want it to get done right, taste nice and smoky. And I'm looking forward to how it turns out. So we'll be back. All right, it's been an hour. The meat is up around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. I haven't lifted this lid yet. We're gonna start spritzing if it's dried out. This is a uh, blueberry and raspberry kumbacha mixed with water. You could use any kind of fruit punch or cherry soda, anything like that. Let's get this lid open and see how it looks. Oh yeah, look at that color, man. So the skin around the foreleg, taking in all of that cherry and applewood smoke. So we're just gonna go ahead and spritz. If you check the bark and it's not coming off, what you wanna do is rehydrate it. And what's happening here, when I rehydrate this, whatever rub did not absorb into the meat is gonna kinda of turn into a paste. And then that'll reabsorb more smoke and we'll get to build up and even better bark. But I'm really liking the look of this right now. Looks awesome. Gotta love these drum smokers. So that's it. Get it nice and hydrated. We don't have to worry about it washing off at this point because that was on there pretty good. And that's it. I'm gonna put the lid back on and we'll come back every hour now to do this until it's time to wrap it up and I'll show you every step along the way. And we just hit the two hour mark. Our internal temperature on our pork picnic shoulder is about 111 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's get this lid off, see how she's looking. <laughs> God, that's pretty. This is so cool looking. I love that. Look at how much smoke that's taken on. Our bark is ready to be spritzed again. So I'm gonna hit it up real quick. The thing on these drums, you don't wanna leave the lid off too long. It's gonna cause a huge temperature spike once we put the lid back on. So the quicker you can do it, the better. Just give it a good spritz. And we're gonna put the lid back on and come back in another hour and see how it's looking. And it's been five hours. I can't believe how fast time goes when you're out here smoking. So we just hit about 160 degrees Fahrenheit internal. And if you look up here on this graph, take a look at the red lines. Everywhere you see a dip, that's where we lifted up the lid to spritz. And the bigger the dip is just the longer that I had the lid open. You can see that real big dip. I was taking pictures of it so the lid was off longer. And then you'll see the green line. That's our internal meat probe. And you'll see that steadily climbing up to about 160. And then all of those gray lines in the background, that's every time the fan kicked on. And it tells you what percentage the fan was on, 40%, 50%, and so on. But let me get this lid open. Let's take a look at it before I wrap it. Ooh, baby. That is looking picture perfect. So I'm gonna get this meat probe out here for a minute. Pull that out. And we're gonna wrap it in foil, the old Texas crutch. And basically what we're doing is trying to speed up the stall. And the stall is evaporative cooling. So literally as the meat sweats, it cools itself. We're gonna wrap it very tightly in foil until it's probe tender. And because it's wrapped so tight, there's not gonna be a whole lot of evaporative cooling so that's why people do it let me get this out of here and onto the foil there we go and then i'm gonna triple wrap it we've got this uh, leg bone sticking out which i know is gonna pop through so first layer i'm gonna go over Remember, we want to do it real tight. And I'll be careful around this leg bone. And we're going to keep it facing skin and fat side down. I'm going to turn it, and now we're going to wrap it from the other direction. 
Then I'll turn it one more time, wrap it from this direction again. Now let's get it right back on the smoker. Let this guy keep cooking. We're gonna put this on right where it was. I'm gonna put the meat probe back in and then we're gonna let this go until it reaches about 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Then I'll start checking for tenderness. When it's probe tender, we'll let it rest probably at least an hour and then I'll pull some off and let you see how it looks. And I can't wait. This is gonna be so good. It smells awesome out here, of course. So we'll be back when it's ready to pull. All right, our pork picnic shoulder is done. Eight and a half total hours in the smoker and then an hour to rest. It's still hot, but I'm running out of daylight, so I gotta get this done. Take a look at this thing. If this isn't the most beautiful pork shoulder I've ever cooked, I don't know what is. The color is amazing. You can see the bones popping right out of here. I'm really looking forward to digging into this. And I'm not gonna shred this whole thing up in front of you guys. We're doing this for a get together in a couple days. So I've got time to let this continue to rest. But right now, let me pull some bones out, show you the smoke ring and see what we're working with here. So we'll start with this leg bone. That one comes out. That one comes out. Man, there's some uh, shoulder bone over here. Guys, this is incredible. Look at that. Normally you're used to getting a little bit of the blade, but when you get the picnic, you get all of this. And these bones give this so much more flavor. You got a couple different muscles in here because on the pig, the shoulder's actually connected to the leg as well. So you get a little bit of that. And I'll just go ahead and pull this skin away. Put this over in my pan of juice. Let me pull off a piece here. Look at that with the bark. Guys, I'm telling you, this is my best ever. Look at that nice pink smoke ring. This is literally just falling apart without me doing anything. That's how you want to do it. Still a little bit too hot for me to really tear into it, but hey, when I do these, I like to do big chunks anyways. So I'll just break it up a little bit. I can come back with a knife later and kind of do chopped pork instead of pulled pork. But I got to try a piece with some bark. Real nice smokiness. Great smoke ring. I hope you guys can see that. Look at that. Beautiful. So let's stop messing around and let me try this out. This isn't right that I'm going to eat this in front of you, but I have to do it. Wow, that's the one right there. That is definitely my best. Really good smoke flavor, not overpowering, just enough of the rub, and it's as tender as can be. Hey, if you guys like what we're doing over here, hit that subscribe button right there, and then you definitely gotta check out one of those two videos right there, and I'll see you over there. What, you didn't think I was gonna give you a bite? You better give me a piece of that. <laughs> Try that. It's good. Mm. That's... They're gonna love that on Sunday.